हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू चैट अड्डा और बाय 24.7 स्पोर्ट्स टुडे वी हैव विद अस वाणी कपूर शी इज नंबर 1 गोल्फ प्लेयर करेंटली इन वुमेंस कैटेगरी एज वेल एज शी वाज नंबर 1 फॉर 3 इयर्स कंटीन्यूअसली 2014 15 एंड 16 एंड शी हैज वन 28 टाइटल्स ओवरऑल टिल नाउ हाउ आर यू वाणी How is everything going on? All well. Great, great. All well. How about you? Yeah, it's it's great. Like uh, this lockdown is somewhat uh, successful for me. How was it for you? It was actually uh, good. It was nice to have some time off the sport, mm-hmm. and uh, you know to re-picture everything and uh, look look at things from a different perspective. Mm. Quite a few realizations have. happened for me in terms of you know importance of family got to spend so much time with the uh, family um also you know just being um, fulfilled with myself like not needing too many things or too many people around me so mm-hmm. that was really good right and also also you started with this uh, rapid fire with vani right yeah. during this lockdown yeah how is yeah. that going on whether it's on halt now or it's still going on uh i kind of finished with that but uh, i do have another plan in my mind so probably i'll start with uh, something new this time mm-hmm. but something on the similar basis mm-hmm. but probably give it a new look yeah so interacting with athletes that would remain constant but something different or not rapid fire maybe some other thing yeah right. yeah yeah exactly right so what was your age when you started playing golf uh i was 10 okay but and uh why you chose golf as a profession like there are so many other sports why why only golf uh so my father used to play the sport and um he was just a club golfer and i had gone with him i used to accompany him to the golf course and uh, i mean i just kind of tried it out pretty much uh, liked it mm-hmm. uh and um, i got i got hooked on to it so yeah uh, your first motivation for golf was your dad or was it someone else so it's actually quite a bit like a little interesting story so mm-hmm. i mean like my mom just wanted me to uh, take 10 lessons uh in golf and she mm-hmm. said that you know i'll learn the sport for life mm-hmm. uh so like she pushed me a lot and um, initially i didn't really like it uh, i mean i didn't really want to take lessons in it and stuff but um i once i met my coach i truly really started loving the game mm-hmm. and he saw some talent in me and he said i could do well so and i started winning at a young age as well so i feel it was like my mother's push that kind of helped me uh pick this sport up right right okay so we recently met janet like you had a meet with her in your rapid fire with vani and yeah. uh, she she said to us that she had interest in many other sports like she started with badminton then table tennis even she played a uh, uh, few other sports related and i so so was it the same for you like you started with some other sport or was it directly golf or you liked other sports as well so i've always been a very sporty person and um, i've played many sports but uh, golf was something that uh, i i knew i was going to take it up uh, professionally at a very young age mm-hmm. and i wanted to stick with it yeah right so whom you take inspiration from like when you lack confidence uh i would say my past performances mm-hmm. one of them and i feel like uh, my support system plays a huge uh, role then which basically consists of my coach my mentor coach my parents obviously and uh, mm-hmm. a couple of friends mm-hmm. so they play a very important role at that time uh, in mm-hmm. continuing to believe in me and you know uh, keeping my head above the water for that time right so yeah okay okay so 
it is always an honor to pre- represent yourself uh, on behalf of your country okay so so when you represent india at international platform what kind of feeling you have in you at that particular time i think that feeling is a feeling which can only be experienced like you know it's very tough to kind of put it into words just wearing that um, indian blazer mm-hmm. uh and you know probably uh walking down uh while the while holding the indian flag and also while the national anthem is going on it mm-hmm. just like the heart race is really fast and you just live every moment and probably a little teary eyed uh it's, it's a very proud and humbling feeling at the same time that you know right. luckily i've been blessed to be given many such opportunities where i have been able to represent the country right right that's great uh so in one of your interviews you said that if you had a chance to get locked down with a golf course and if you were asked to meet i mean if you were asked to uh stay with one of the players then the answer yeah. your answer was tiger woods so yeah. what is that one thing that you feel that is lacking in you which you need to imbibe from him uh his his actually quite a few things like he's a legend so mm. like uh his scoring ability and just the way i would be i'm really curious to know how he thinks on the golf course and how he gets things done under pressure situations mm-hmm. right right so it's it's you can say that uh, the kind of thought process that he runs through during the match that would be one thing that you would like to take it from him or probably rather a more important thing how to get things done under pressure that will be right. better okay right uh when we select any profession we create a dream that we have this x y we would win this x y z medals we would win this x y z tournaments so what was your goal when you started playing golf was there any such uh, dream in your mind that okay i want to achieve this that um so i remember like the first time when i met my coach and he saw me a uh, swing the club he said that i could become number 1 at like 15 at mm-hmm. the age of 15 in the country right. uh, in the amateurs so i mean that instantly kind of became my dream like it was uh i mean and i'm i'm glad it happened also it happened at the age of 14 so right. i mean that's just one of the dreams that you know that has happened but obviously i have more dreams as well so yeah mm-hmm. right okay uh so golf is considered as an elite class game just like few other games that we consider that it is an elite class game okay uh so not everyone can afford uh to play the sport but what are the things that we you see gradually changing in india at least or what kind of uh, measures are taken by our sports association to promote this sport in india I feel there are many more uh, non-private clubs coming up, which are easily accessible uh, to you know everyone who ever wants to go play, and uh, they're not that expensive as well at the same time. So I mean, it would be probably as much as uh, it would probably cost a child to get a football session, mm-hmm. or you know, like or any other sport for that matter. Golf mm-hmm. as a sport, I feel. uh it is elite because it kind of has that tag with it but uh, and also elite for the matter that you know you can't just go play it out on the road like you know badminton mm-hmm. you can just set it up anywhere and right. you can play and other right. sports also and like for golf you need quite a lot of uh, area to play mm. uh but also at the same time with the kind of uh, influence that people have uh in this day and age barring if covid was uh not there i don't think it's that expensive and on the other hand on the flip side i feel every sport can become uh, expensive if it's taken professionally mm-hmm. so things like the whole ball game kind of changes when mm-hmm. uh, you take it to a professional level right right 
so are there any seniors like for example in badminton as we have seen that senior players like gopi chand sir has started his academy at hyderabad for uh, new kids to join in and learn uh, the sport and the kind of atmosphere that they provide is amazing so are there any such seniors uh, from india who have created such uh, aura uh, where kids can join and they can learn golf or they need to join clubs only um actually like, i'm not too sure of whether anyone's done that but i do know many golfers who in their way have the like stream milkers thing being one of them and then mm-hmm. there are many more as well Uh, but actually at the same time it's also very difficult to kind of you know make a structure of your own like a golf course of on your of your own that that's that's too expensive to buy so much land and then build mm-hmm. so i mean if you compare it to another sport like badminton or um, shooting or something it's not really viable mm-hmm. so yeah but golfers have given back to the game in many ways right great uh first of all congratulations i uh, i forgot to say that at the start like on winning 28 medals for india on your name Thank but you. as said as said that room was not built in a day so what kind of problems or difficulties have you faced when you were achieving these medals or during your career so i actually feel um, more problems um, and difficulties were faced by my parents rather than me because i was and i am still in love with the sport so when you really love something you really don't see as many problems and you know uh or difficulties you mm-hmm. definitely every athlete has their ups and downs but mm-hmm. i feel what parents do uh like uh, for their child that's mm-hmm. uh, that can't even be measured so i mean talking in terms of them it would be like you know a me being a girl and uh, starting say probably 15 years back when girls would probably not you know play a sport mm-hmm. or it was like you know you should study more or parents were not uh, open to uh, taking a sport as a professional uh, or as a career option mm-hmm. so i mean definitely they faced that kind of uh, situation luckily for me my school was very supportive the shiram school uh, mm-hmm. they gave me off and they let me play golf and my college jmc jesus and mary was also very supportive Mm-hmm. So I didn't really face that many problems as such. Right. Okay. So uh, blessed. Yeah, you're blessed. Truly. Really. Um. Uh, so tournaments one after the other, like it is similar in all the sports, whether it's golf, whether it's cricket, whether it's badminton. Everyone has one after the other tournament. So how you keep yourself mentally and physically strong for the upcoming tournament? um i think like there's one thing that i really follow which is you know keep your practice so hard that your work looks easier so mm-hmm. or you know ton- playing tournaments is easier than your practice so that's something that i've always followed and yes it does get uh, difficult because you're traveling so much different time zones mm-hmm. probably playing like you know 8 9 weeks back to back it's just something that uh, i feel experience kind of teaches you listen more to your body what your mind is saying uh mm-hmm. as long as you don't go against your own self i think you'll be fine and it's very normal to kind of have a dip in between somewhere of those mm-hmm. um eight to nine weeks but just mm-hmm. to accept whatever happens mm-hmm. right right so going with the flow would be uh, the right answer yeah. right? like how yeah. how it should go right okay uh so what kind of things cheers you up when you are deeply down like you are disturbed or you are not feeling well what kind of things cheers you up like someone like music someone like movie someone like reading book so what what is about what is your uh, take on it like what you do in such case i just sleep i sleep <laughs> i don't think i just go to sleep <laughs> and then i'm fine <laughs> okay right uh so how you handle the pressure of expectations when you are number one you are representing india outside at the international level the pressure is always there so 
of expectation actually pressure of expectations that is there how you handle those things expectation according to me i divided it into two parts one is self expectations and the other is what the second one is what other people put on you mm-hmm. so uh i have kind of learned to deal with what people kind of expect out of me because mm-hmm. i feel that's something that i don't have to live with mm-hmm. and i need to uh live with what i expect from myself mm. and how i kind of deal with that would be um again like you know there's a famous saying in golf that you play one shot at a time mm. and you live in the present mm. so expectations only go when you kind of move ahead of yourself when you're thinking in the future mm-hmm. so just staying in the present and doing what you're doing at that particular time that's mm. something that kind of helps me deal with expectations right okay uh so when you are free or when you are not playing golf at that point mm. of time what are the other activities that you do um one thing is sleeping you said <laughs> rather yeah. than sleeping what do you do uh i mean i love i mean during covid it's not possible but like obviously catching up with friends i would say mm. definitely Mm-hmm. yeah and right. eating okay so yeah right uh so my favorite time or maybe my fun time cartoon is tom and jerry i like watching it whenever i am depressed or whenever i am uh, yeah. down with uh, some problems i uh, i enjoy watching that cartoon it 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 refreshes me so are you also a fan of tom and jerry or is there anything else that you watch Uh of course I'm a fan of Tom and Jerry but not that I watched Tom and Jerry but that was my favorite cartoon when I was a kid. Oh uh, yeah, I don't really watch cartoons right now. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh but I guess music helps me that time so I'm feeling low. So okay. yeah, I would say music. Mhm. Right. Uh what makes you unique from others? Or you are not at all in that run of becoming a unique person? I think uh, what makes me unique is that I'm myself 24/7. I don't try and be someone else and I can be like a child in one second I can be like all matured up and yeah like I'm just myself all the time. I so I don't like try and become somebody else. So is it like depending upon the situation where you are with whom you are you change yourself accordingly is that uh, what you do? I think making people comfortable and also just me being myself I would say yeah mm-hmm. right right okay so one mistake of your life that you feel you would never repeat again um it would be trying to make people happy <laughs> or trying to keep people happy yeah okay so was was there any bad experience in the past that you would love to share with us like the the viewers might i wouldn't like to, to share but <laughs> but uh, i mean like it generally happens like it's just a learning that you know in terms of um like you just kind of keep the people around you so happy that you forget about yourself you give other people more importance so that kind of stops your growth somewhere uh, down mm-hmm. the line right so and i feel once you start listening to your heart and you just do what you want to do uh everything becomes so much more easier you enjoy things around you you're more passionate about things you can put more hard work and you see results uh, quicker as well okay right uh so are you a bollywood fan or a hollywood fan bollywood <laughs> good uh who is your, which which is your favorite movie till now Or, or what kind of movies you like? Uh, I actually like anything Bollywood. Like, uh, I just love Bollywood movies, and okay. like it just ranges from a sphere. Like, I can love, like I love Three Idiots. I love Zindagi Na Mili Ki Dobara. Uh, I can just watch like slapstick comedy, like anything. Like, it just kind of depends on the mood. So yeah. Okay. Kuch so kuch hota hai. Probably my all-time favorite movie. Okay. right uh so depending on your mood the things yeah. change right 
okay so even do you like binge watching or you avoid doing that uh no i i don't like binge watching luckily okay yeah so uh, no, no no such series or anything in your life like watching series or anything uh i have uh, like till to, till today i've just seen three uh whatever like series or whatever so i've seen uh, i've seen the good doctor which i really liked mm. um and uh, i don't know like two more that's it hardly any mm. i i mean because i feel once you start watching a episode or something you just keep going back to back so i kind yeah, of either addictive. i don't start yeah yeah i addictive. don't want that addiction so i'm very yeah very particular about that right so if you had to choose between two things one is playing golf throughout your lifetime and second after a point of time you start training the juniors what would you choose if i'm already after some time started choosing i mean starting training juniors i think i would like a mix of both to be honest i can't okay. really pick one <laughs> yeah that's a difficult option like if i can be fit and uh, you know agile just like a 18 year old throughout my life then i'll pick golf if not then probably like coach yeah, so staying with golf throughout your lifetime is what you yeah want. definitely yeah 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 okay so if if a bollywood producer comes to you or bollywood director comes to you and say that we want to make a biography of your life so what would you think that the title would be for that bollywood movie hmm interesting question um uh, just like, me maybe just like me. hindi mein hona padega yeah but hindi mein sirf pata nahi kya hoga sirf main sirf main <laughs> no that doesn't sound me like <laughs> just me as in, just me sounds better in the sense like yeah okay just just, go lucky, just me just me vani ki kahani aisa kuch something like that अकॉर्डिंग टू यू वुड बी द बेस्ट फिट एज एन एक्ट्रेस और हु अकॉर्डिंग टू यू कैन सूट द रोल ऑफ योर लाइफ लाइक एज अज अक्टर बी द बेस्ट फॉर I think Sara Ali Khan because like she's herself also like twenty four seven, and mm-hmm. she's comical. She like she's Bindas, so yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. She would do justice to the title. Right. Okay. Uh, last two questions before we wrap up this uh, yeah. round of interview. So a message to all the people who are listening us. I would just say follow your heart. Yeah. it makes things easier you enjoy life much more and it's the mm-hmm. best way to keep yourself happy always right and any message to us i would say you guys are doing a great job man like you and everyone else uh, like you promoting sports uh, in india because mm-hmm. um, i mean like you actually put the limelight on us and get our stories forward so i would just mm-hmm. actually like to thank you from the bottom of my heart and i feel you're just doing a great job thank you to so you and much. your team thank you so much from me and yeah. my team because uh, the idea is to promote indian sports like see people know cricket people know badminton people know table tennis because there are tournaments there are uh, leagues that is going on around the year and yeah. people have and after uh, for example in badminton after saina nehwal won that that those medals people are knowing that there is someone known as saina nehwal in badminton but yeah this sport like squash like janet vidh is playing for squash like you in mm-hmm. golf people are not very much aware that even india is ahead in this 
yeah, that is yeah. not behind in the sport india is participating in those sports and we are winning like for example we have won 28 yeah. titles and that's a great thing people should know about it and that is what we want we are trying to promote through our channel hopefully finger cross thank you go ahead and uh, we we get chance to meet every single athlete of india yeah congratulations to you and wishing you all the best always thank you so much and uh, again thank you so much for joining us it was a pleasure for us to invite you and uh, you have been a great host for us thank you thank you thank you so much